So today we'll learn about the foreign travelers who came to India during the ancient times. So basically during ancient times, whatever the foreign travelers came, they have been divided into three broad categories. Number one is the the Greek travelers, obviously, Yuna Nicho do Vaiti Bharat Mohe, Uske Bad Mehe Chinese travelers, and uh, apart from the Chinese travelers, there are the Arab travelers, or we can say the Muslim travelers, right? So, first we will learn about the Greek tra travelers. Among the Greek travelers, also, there is three categories. Number one is the those who came before Alexander, then who came along with Alexander, and then who came after Alexander. We all know about Alexander the Great, right? So we, I need not explain it here. And basically what we are focusing here is the traveling of the foreign travelers, means uh, the foreign travelers who came to India. Now, number first, uh, before Alexander. Before Alexander, there were two travelers who came to India. And they are uh, the Tethius and Herodotus. Uh, about Herodotus, we all know that uh, he is known as the father of uh, history. He has written a book, uh, Historica, and uh, in this book, he described about the relations between India and uh, Greek. Next is uh, Tethius. Tethius uh, actually was a doctor, and he did not come to India, but he wrote about India from the sources he heard, whatever he heard from the people who came to India, or else um, whatever he, uh, just like we uh, do not visit a place, but whatever we hear about it, and then on the basis of that account, he uh, wrote his own um, account right? uh, upon the imaginations I can see. Next is uh, Alexander. Now, when Alexander came to India, along with uh, Alexander, there were uh, three people who came to India. One is Neacus, second is um, Onesicritus, and then Aristophanes. Uh, Nearchus, uh, he composed the biography of uh, Alexander. Sorry, uh, Onesicritus. Onesicritus compose the biography of Alexander. Now, how to remember own a secretress? We know own, to own something, right? And he, when he is writing uh, about his biography, uh, so about uh, Alexander, so we can say that uh, own a secretress, he uh, composed the biography of Alexander. And it's very simple to remember, right? Now, next is uh, the Nearchus and the Aristobulus. Uh, Nearchus and Aristobulus also came, but not much is told about them. Now, next is uh, after Alexander. Uh, after Alexander, there were uh, again uh, Megasthenes who came to India. He was the ambassador of Seleucus uh, Niketa. Uh, he was a Greek ruler. And uh, uh, then uh, Seleucus Niketa was a Greek ruler and he came during the time of whom he came during Chandragupta, Megasthenes. Right? And he has written a book, Indica, but its uh, original form is not found. Next is uh, Damachus. Damachus was, um, he, there was a Syrian king uh, whose name was uh, Antiochus. Antiochus ambassador was Damachus. We can remember simple Antiochus Damachus. Antiochus Damachus, AD. With the M, M no domini, you can remember, right? So uh, Antiochus uh, was the king and he was the king of Syria and he sent his ambassador. Who was that? He was Damachus to India. Now, there is one important thing about Damachus and uh, this Antiochus. At the time, the king was Bindusar uh, in the modern empire and he asked for three things from uh, him. And those three things were uh, the demand of alcohol and the red wine and the philosophers. So Antiochus uh, sent all the, all the two things, but he did not send the philosophers, right? Now, why he did not send, we all know what is the importance of philosophers. Now, the other one was uh, uh, Dionysius. Dionysius, uh, about Dionysius, it is that... Uh, they were all uh, ambassadors of the Greek ruler. And Dionysius, he was from Egypt. Uh, there was a king in Egypt and his name was Ptolemy. And during his time only, um, Ptolemy Philadelphus was the name of the king. And during the time of Ptolemy, um, he, uh, this Dionysius, he came to India. So this is. Now about Ptolemy. Dionysius, sorry, Dionysius was the king, and uh, during the time of Dionysius, uh, Ptolemy he came to India. We all know about Ptolemy. Ptolemy has written a book about India, uh, Ptolemy um, or geography, Ptolemy geography. Next is Pliny. 
about Pliny, it is uh, natural, historical. It is uh, about the Indian plants and animals as my your home name or again nickname is Tini. So I remember it very and I like natural things and uh, plants and um, all these things. So Pliny wrote the book Natural Histor History. Historica. Next is the Periplus of the Erythrean Sea, but who has written it? The author is unknown. About the, now, about the Chinese travelers have become. So, in Chinese traveler, there was Fa Han, uh, Shung Yong, Yuan San, and Itzing, and Matwalin, and Chao Chu. Chao now, uh, Chao Chu Kua, uh, though I have told the names of uh, total six um, people who, who were Chinese and who came to India. So you can remember it very easily that uh, Chao Chu Kua, he uh, gave information about the Chola dynasty, right? Now, Fahan. Fahan, he wrote a book, uh, Fu Yuki, from Pa, Fu Yuki, he wrote a book about India. And he was during the time of the Gupta Emperor, Chandragupta II. Next is Shung Yung. Shung Yung, um, Pushabhuti or the Vardhan dynasty, um, he came during the time of Harsh Vardhan in 629 AD, during the time of Harsh, then, then in, uh, sorry, his human son who came the, during the time of Harsh Vardhan, he was Vardhan or the Pushabhuti king. Next is Shung Yung, Shung Yung um, also came and uh, Si Yuki, uh, he wrote the book of Yuan Sun and uh, uh, he studied in the Nalanda University. Then it's Itzing and Madhvalin and Chao Chukua. Now about uh, uh, Huan Sang. Huan Sang is known as the king of pilgrims. It is of, often confused that Fahen was the king of pil uh, pilgrims, but he was not. Uh, Fahen was the first person who came and he came to the time of Chandragupta II. Next is Itzing. Itzing came uh, in 671 or 7th century and he stayed at Nalanda and Vikram Shila University and has mentioned about it in his travelogue. Mathwalin, he mentioned Harshwardhan and uh, Eastern Expedition and about him. For Mathwalin, he told about Harshwardhan, right? That's what it was all about. Next is about the Muslim travelers. When we come to the Muslim travelers, then it is uh, Suleiman, Al Masudi, and Al Baruni. Uh, so uh, basically mentioned about the tripart uh, Suleiman and Al Masudi. He mentioned about the they mentioned about the tripart uh, tripartite dynasty. At the time there were Pal Pratihara and Rastwood, right? During 11th century, um, Muhammad Ghaznavi, who raided India 17 times, atta attacked and he came along with Kitabul uh, Hind or Tehqiq Hind. Who has written Al Baruni? Al Baruni came with Muhammad Ghaznavi and uh, around uh, 11th century, and he has written a book, Kitabul Hind and Taiki Kehind. Both are same book, okay? Kitabul Hind or Taiki Kehind. Now, next is Suleiman and Al Masudi. They described about the tripartite dynasty. Next is the archaeological sources. If you talk about archaeological sources, then there are inscriptions, there are statues, there are uh, rock addicts, etc. There are coins and numismatics, that is study of coins, we call it. Now, study of inscriptions is called uh, epigraphy. And the oldest inscription is of 1400 BC, before Christ, remember it, not AD. And it was uh, not only the oldest inscription of India, but of the world, and it is bogus guy. Middle East Asia uh, or Asia Minor is the location where it was found or we can say the Central Asia. And especially it tells about Khatti and Minani. They, uh, Mitanni, they were the four gods and uh, because there was a treaty. It is about the, there was a treaty between, uh, there was treaty and uh, between Khatti and Mitanni in the presence of four gods. And these four gods were Mitra, Nasatya, Varun and Indra. Indra, Varun, Mitra and Nasatya. These all four deities were there. Okay, and Khati and Midani, these were the two tribal groups. So this is all about uh, the travelers who came to India and about the inscriptions from which we come to know about the ancient India. So we learned all this. So this was enough and we can just revise it in 9 minutes or 10 minutes of time. Thank you so much.